Hi everyone, so Alex and Joe from Red Titan, we're here today and uh, we are looking at the Evil Ryu from Connecticut. This is um, part of their diorama, uh, the Beast Nation. And, uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to look at that uh, half of it, so uh, keep watching. <laughs> We will be uh, reviewing, going through the um, Evil Ryu um, from you know the Street Fighter franchise. Now this piece is from Connecticut. This is my piece. Um, I got this to try to accompany. I was planning, thankfully, and did get an Akuma from Eric Sosa. My idea was to display these two together, as they are a great pairing. Um, I've got the two Ryus. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Really. Yeah, that was my point. <laughs> <laughs> we've yeah. um we've actually done the review of the Ryu, but I don't know which order we're going to be putting them up. It's so, a uh, but hopefully by the time you watch this, uh, you'll be able to view both of them. Yeah, um, I really I dig this character. You know, is um really this particular piece comes from Street, the Street Fighter Four arcade edition version where Ryu's got fangs. Uh, he's a little bit more menacing, he's got a hole in his chest, which could be, we're not sure if it's actually from his final battle in the with Akuma at the end of that game, where he's like, or at the end of the, I think it's a manga, it's the end of a manga where he gets punched in the chest, or if it's from Oni. Now, Ryu himself, actually Evil Ryu, only is got is full of evil intent. I'm not going to insult the franchise by trying to speak the Japanese and so hard, oh no, so no, like, something you like said that. You weren't going to I know, but I, then I just thought I can do it, and I know I can't, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, he's full of evil intent, he's looking to kill, destroy, he is a demon. Um, his voice is more demonic and lower tone. Um, he has the glowing kanji on the back and the ripped out hole in the chest, yeah. and the spiky hair and the glowing red eyes. Well, he actually made his first appearance in the manga, so the uh, Upper Zero manga. And then he got his appearance in the uh, the game. So yeah. That, so that was after two. He got his appearance. In the yeah. Game. And then and this then in zero uh, looks America. like a bit like this. Yeah. So is, uh, yeah. we'll go for the box. Yeah. So nice box. It's got more space at the front as well. So uh, so you got the piece here, and I do really like these sketches at the back. You got the sketch there, and then this, as you can see, you can see this with the uh, kind of light up effect on the base yeah. and uh, chest. And then you flip over there. So he's got the details here. You got the logos. Uh, 30th anniversary edition Capcom uh, Evil Row Beast Unleashed. Again, yeah, so it was going about four hundred and sixty dollars, yeah. wasn't it? I believe so. Yeah. 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 Very reasonable. Incredibly reasonable. And then image. again, you've got some more uh, images there, and then you've got a sketch there. Laughing. Oh, I love sketch there as oh, well. Wait, it is indeed. Yes. And these ones don't have anything on the bottom. Totally plain. So moving on to the piece. I'm going to slide. Mm -hmm. Oh, that power it will slide slightly off the end, so my apologies about that. Yeah, okay, yeah. so who he is? Smash me in the elbow again. Sorry, dude. I always move that arm, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, going through this, as if you haven't seen you already, the right, I think we'll probably put the Ryu, maybe this will go up after, but the, uh, the, the Ryu, the other version, has the lovely AstroTurf base. This is like scorched ground. Yeah, this actually looks like, um, kind of like you only get the top of the molten lava. Yeah, That's I mean, I, I, I think, looking at the the way that, if you look closely at the detail on the ground, I think it's actually scorched, uh, scorched grass. Yeah. I think that's what it is. It's like ashen up black Ooh. grass, which makes perfect sense because the AstroTurf part is yeah. the lovely, calm Ryu. This is Well, what I didn't know is the floor, it actually does have kind of a red, kind of little red brownie. Yeah, 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 that. yeah, I didn't I see it. Yeah, yeah, good spot, good yeah. spot. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, no, I do like that. Super dynamic piece. We'll start at the bottom and work our way up. So we're, you know, talking about the base. The flames are fucking fantastic. Mm. Translucent resin. Uh, if our boy Cartel was collecting, he'd be all over this. Well, I mean, the um, the actual flames on here are the same kind of style as the Mumma sword flames. Yes, they are, yeah. So they and they right. actually do light up. And there is a light up that goes up underneath mm. this foot that lights up the base. It's hidden by his foot, which is yep. a great touch. I think it may be. No, it's that foot, isn't it? It's under here. Yeah. Um, no, 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 it's under that one. It's yeah, under this one, one yeah. and this is where the peg goes. And then also you've got another uh, switch for the body, which is under this, this arm here yeah. that comes off. So the way that this basically comes is you have the base, 
you have the uh, this whole section of the gi and arm comes away, this comes off, and the back part comes off on both hands. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And again, they've managed to capture the fantastic work. The, the, he's a little bit more veiny across the feet, and his colouring is darker. Ooh. So they've captured the game part really, really well, because it is a darker Ryu. Um, the skin's darker. You know, it's, it's, he looks definitely more sun-deaded, man, and definitely more vascular. Yeah. Um, which is really, really nice. And when you put them together, there is a, there's a notable difference in skin tones, which is great, which is a really, really nice touch. The other thing which I really like, actually, is that right foot. If you look at the right foot, it's actually gripping the ground with his screen, mm -hmm. which is a really nice touch. It's not lazy. You know, he's really clenched, and his feet are all clenching the ground, which I really, really like. Uh, again, nails, feet, toes, all spot on. And this... Um, Fantastic detail that they've managed to carry on through this, where you can see the texture riding up the gi. Mm. I love this, this shade actually, of blue. Um, these these actually have a lot more texture than the other one. It's not. I think it shows more. Mm. I think it shows compared to the white because the white actually has loads of texturing on it as yeah. well. But I think it shows a little better on the blue. No, and this right, is yeah. nice as well because the gi actually comes over on the top. If you look there, and that's smooth. Mm. The inside of the gi, yeah. So and that's great. It carries on through here. Yeah, which I, don't know. I thought that the white one was more. This one's some more textured on the trousers than the other one. I don't know if it's just the paint though. I'm not sure. You might be right, but I, I thought that the, I was really impressed with the white um, mm. texture as well. The um, the belt's done fantastically well. This, like I said before, with Alex, and he questioned it is magnetized. There is nothing. Okay. So, so you got the magnet on this one, you and the, uh, yeah. you have the tape on the other. Yeah, that's right. You've got, the met, you've got that there, so just make sure your angle's right, and then you've got the writing again in gold running down mm. the side of it, which is fantastic. Yeah. Ripped gi looks great, it really does. You've got the real nice sort of muscles that are sort of on the side there. Yeah, not overdone at all, but looks really uh, dynamic through the pose. Mm. Really great muscularity here. And actually the hands, I think, are a little bit better proportioned, and I think that's only, I think it is the pose. Yeah. I think it's purely the pose, the way that they are, I think they look a little bit more in scale, even though you can see clearly there how big them damn gloves are. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I think they're as big as the Ryu gloves, but because his hand is not clenched, and because it's not just open, his whole fingers are open, yeah. I think it makes the hand actually look a little bit of a better scale. Mm. So I think that Ryu, the other Ryu is more proportioned just how you look at it rather than anything sure. being wrong. And then as you were saying earlier, I mean, you've got the veins sort of going across the, uh, the shoulder there, across the bias there, yeah. the traps kind of running up the neck where he's screaming and I think it does capture that quite nicely yeah um, and look in the mouth as well I mean his uh, his teeth are pretty clean very well done uh, and you can see the tongue in there as well give us a little tongue right here yeah. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah love the effect of the glowing eyes as well you see how mm. it, it actually starts darker and goes lighter as it sort of yeah. moves away really nice and touch. Then, uh, moving up to the hair I think the hair is done really really nice a lot of separation in there um, great sculpt, great detail, really, really, super really well done there. I like, super I really like that. I love the fact his thing's flying up in the air as well, like he's just landed. Um, have I put it upside down? Well, I like it that way. <laughs> you might have done, but I, no, don't change it. I, 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 that's how I've used it, that's how I'm going to display it. Yeah. It, I think it could go the other way. Oh, oh yeah, it's a pig, so it could, maybe. No, you've, you've definitely, I think you've definitely got it right because that now is touching the back. Oh, so right. it, is spot, it will spot on. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like lunging yeah. forward at that moment. So I mean, I think true. it's actually more like that. It's actually more to the side mm. than it being up, because that actually fits in perfectly. Yeah, actually, that's wicked as well. Okay. Yeah, really happy, super happy with it, man. I'm, lo I'm loving that tattoo. That, that, so that's the kanji for heaven yeah. on his back. Um, it's burning a hole in him. And actually, amazingly enough, the light up on that... Um, it kind of like, uh, it, like pulses up. Pulses um, up, yeah, it does. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, sort of. I get what you're saying. So it's sort of like it sort of gl sort yeah. of. It, what's that word? Illuminate. Yeah, <laughs> deilluminate. <laughs> Pulsate. Pulsate. Well done. I just said it. Did you? Yes. Sorry, it's late. It's late. It's late in the night. It's late in the day. God damn you two. Fucking. I actually have to say that I actually really do prefer this shading work compared to the other Ryu, just my personal preference. I think, you know, the darker skin tones and the grey sort of highlights are fucking crazy. Yeah. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So what we'll do as well is, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, uh, go free school. Go free hand. Free hand. Um, what I will do is I am going to film uh, the close-ups while uh, George takes things off. Yeah. What am I taking off?
Yeah, so you're going to take off that shoulder. Oh, and uh, so we just so we can see the close up of the uh, switch. Okay. You can restart that as soon as it's off. Just stop, no, stop it. No, I'll no, tell him it's fine. I have to be careful with this. It is quite tough to be careful of that. Yeah, you've got there you go. Yeah, so what you uh, I'm going to come around here a little bit, and what mm. you got here is uh, you have the switch there. See, so probably better. Uh, to but take... what what you're going to do is take him off as well. Because you've got the switch okay, on. Well, it's a good thing this is mine dropping my gear. I'm upset about that already. <clears throat> there you go. All right, so on the base, first of all, you have the switch here. Yeah. So you just get right up and uh, give that a little. Is that that way? There you that go. Way. So that's on. Yep. And uh, so we're going to get a bit blurry, blurry. And then you go there, that just careful of, of the flame. That's it. The good thing is, is that it, this is magnetized too, on this foot, and then, so it pulls uh, it into place. Give that a little switch as well. You turn it on, yeah? Right, I'll do this first. The thing is, you are going to get with this, unfortunately, it's very tight, so you're going to get that little and bit of scuffage. Rub. You are going to get that's going to happen, because it is, it is like literally, it is really, barely, you can see it's going to barely touch it. I need to see what I'm doing. Did you turn it on? Yeah, yeah, it's on. So careful, dude. There you go. There is like that's the way to do it. But as you can see, once it's on, it's 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 invisible. So yeah. You can't see it, it at all. But you're gonna get it. So just be warned. On and off, you're gonna get it. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn the lights out from here. That's it. Right. Filming? Uh, well, I stopped this one. Okay, well, that one's still doing it anyway. Can you see that, um, Michele? Yes, yes. So, as you can see there, you've got the. Um, you right? You on? Okay. Yeah, I'm on as well. Yeah, so there you are. So, what you've got there, if you look at the chest, the chest again is pulsating. It's just literally, and, it, and it's getting brighter and redder, and then it sort of eases off, dies down slowly, which is fucking class, and then comes back on yellow and then starts getting darker and darker again. Which is a really, really nice touch, man. All right, turn that around. And then you've got the same situation happening with the back. Mm. You see that all right? Yeah, that's nice. You've got the edges, haven't you? And then it dies off again. Probably a little bit of a, a, a black in here probably could have eased down on that red, because it's, I mean, that, that would be more, um, you know, clear, if that wasn't a bit of black paint, sort of red paint in there, dark yeah. paint, it covers the light up a bit more, and I think probably... Quite hard to see though, anyway. Yeah, it? that's what I mean. But when you turn the lights back on again, see the red is quite, the red and the black is quite necessary, because it's like a scorched look towards the back, you see what I'm saying? So you can't have, you can't have everything. Yeah. Still need to have that effect so it looks on the money. Right, so we grab the tape measure Sweet. and uh, we grab the scales. So we're going to uh, going to make a tell tale of tape. Oh, nice! This is nice. A bit of boxing reference. Now, what was what I saw in the background? Uh, I think it's probably the top of the head. Would you agree? Is the top of the uh, yeah, top of the spiky hair? I'd probably say you're going to need 16 inches of clearance, which is around. Yeah, maybe actually, maybe that. No, nah, it's not. Hair's higher. Definitely higher. It's about 16 inches. You're going to need 15 okay. and a half. So around 30, 30. Nine. Okay. 39 centimetres. Uh, I guess if you were talking about it, you'd probably display it head on like so, wouldn't you? So I'm guessing it's probably the depth wise is going to be the issue here. I'm going to watch the flames a bit here. So that's probably the deepest point to here, and it's quite deep. So again, you're talking 21 inches in depth, which is exactly 53 centimetres, yeah? Yeah. And then width wise, it's coming to. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to say. That's about there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 17 and a half inches wide, so that's 44 centimetres. Okay, and then... What do you reckon it weighs? Well, it's going to be about the same as the other one, isn't I it? So I'm, going to say, uh, mm, I'm going to say it's probably going to be about eight kilos. Yeah, I think you're right. It's a little bit smaller. I would go a little bit heavier just because of this flames and stuff on the base. Although maybe that, maybe that bloody Astro Turf is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, lucky 
it's mine, I guess. Yeah, there's no way it's four kilos, there's no fucking chance. Right, okay. Wow, okay. So that's 8.8 .8 kilos, which is pretty damn yeah. heavy for, uh, for, for a piece of it, yeah, definitely. Um, and then that is nearly 20 uh, pounds. just under 20 pounds, so that's 19.4 pounds. Wow, that's a pretty heavy piece. That's it's really impressive, heavy. yeah. It feel, uh, it's funny because I thought the rhyme felt a little bit heavier. Well, if you actually look on the box, yeah. which I can see from here, uh, Ryu is 15 kilos uh, for the box, and this is 16 kilos. Uh -huh. I only noticed that after. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I would have said uh, yeah, a kilo more. So, uh -huh. um, yeah, I mean, what we'll do then is uh, we'll cut to the, uh, yeah, we'll get the, other uh, Ryu. the Ryu and put them together into the circle. Okay, all right, so this is just a little add-on that we've put here. So we're basically showing you the full diorama, other than the little Dago guy who we can't, we don't have, because yeah. um, we're not special enough. But this is, and these are our respective pieces. So Alex with the right, the Ryu, and I have the evil Ryu. So we have them together here, and we're just going to briefly show you, you know, how they look as a as a pair, which is absolutely fucking outstanding. Uh, that it really is a crime to pull them apart, isn't it? Really, it is. But then again, I mean, um, it's going to be quite hard to find a space for that. I mean, Definitely. Uh, that. Well, we have to grab the tape measure. Yeah, man. Give me a tape pass through his legs. Thing on my stuff space. Right, so basically the... Uh, Guide me! Oh, yeah. Okay. Now that is incredibly interesting. Why is that? Because that's 22 inches of, okay. of width. When we did the Ryu and we did him side on, he was nearly 22 alone. Well, so... Yeah, because it's... Yeah, I know. And, but it will... This obviously is a complete circle, so yeah. it will be and exactly what's 50, 20, what's 57 centimetres in diameter this will be. But then it's also 57 deep. Yes, so in, they go in, in diameter. Yeah, no, I'm saying, but it's, so it's 57 both ways. In so, every way, yeah, yeah, of course. But so I'm saying that, like, the 57 uh, yeah. one way is fine to go into the... Yeah, of course. It's what, it fits one direction, just not both. This yeah. is definitely, I mean, this is a big, this is a fairly decent sized table, so... What we do? You can pretty much see. Are you filming that? Filming us? Filming us? Hey! Hey! Oh, there you go, one Friday, lights. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to get a close up of how the uh, bases go together. So as you saw on the uh, Evil Ryu video, check that out, uh, or if it's at the end of this, because it's going to be the end of both videos. Yeah. So uh, you can see the, like, the flames actually light up, and uh, that's how they join there, so it's yin and yang. And then what you also have is you have a scorch from the flames onto the actual uh, grass there. Lovely touch. And then, uh, yeah, go across here. Yeah, man. All right. Loving it. They really look great together, man. They really, really look great together. Super. Showing the calm, composed, measured Ryu. Be like water, be still. And you've got fuck water, fuck everything. I'm going to kill you, evil Ryu, which I yeah. think is fantastic. Absolutely, man. I love it. I, mm. I think it's cracking. Together, they look great. I think they're great companion pieces, obviously, because they're well made for each other. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with them. I think they look great too. So, yeah. Yeah? 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 Okay. Cool. Yeah. Later. <laughs> Peace. Thanks, guys. Still low. Still so low. Where's the guy I love? Where's that guy? <laughs> He's not here. I'm gonna have to, you know what I've realised is that in Singapore, I'm gonna have to look after you. I'm gonna have to like make sure you go to bed and like make sure you <laughs> eat like a child. Oh. <laughs> oh, I never get Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's always an okay in the long time. Here we on. You're on. Sweet. Change. Switch. <laughs>